New developments into the investigation of the anti-Semitic vandalism near a local synagogue. Authorities have now identified a person of interest. And they say he lives near the neighborhoods that were hit. Fox San Antonio's Andrew Lafob joins us now live from FBI headquarters on the far northwest side with more on their investigation tonight. Andrew. Yeah, the FBI says they've identified a man that lives near the synagogue but would not provide any more details beyond that. Now, the FBI says our viewers have already provided strong leads, but tonight they're asking for more. The first priority of the FBI's joint investigation with the Texas Rangers and San Antonio police is to make sure these visual acts of hate don't turn into violent acts of hate. The hatred which inspires them to commit these acts in some cases leads them to also commit violent acts against human beings. Thanks to leads from the San Antonio community, the FBI has their sights set on a man they say lives close to where the hate was spread on cars, gates, and monuments. The hatred and the prejudice that inspired this individual to commit these acts is something that they couldn't hide. One day after the hate-filled morning, the streets in the neighborhood are clean again and quiet like they usually are. But inside the homes, it's no secret they want justice. Minerva has lived here for 11 years. I would never imagine that. Never. I've never had anything lost to here. The news of a person of interest comes as a pleasant surprise. Well, I'm very happy they do. I sure, I sure would like for them to find the person that did that. So far, the FBI says it's just one person they're looking at, but aren't ruling out others. And they want your help in solving this hate crime. And that's absolutely why we wanted to reach out to your viewers. We want any and all tips, any information that their viewers, your viewers might have. It really doesn't matter who arrests him. We just want to make sure that whoever's responsible is found. If you have information that could lead to an arrest, you're asked to call the FBI at 225-6741. A $5,000 reward is being offered. Live on the far northwest side, Andrew Lawfoam, Fox News at 9.